Um, and, and you know, especially when you have a matchup like this, that's uh, it's apparently like just super bad for Pac-Man. And, and I can definitely see that, you know, like just the characters that can't kill just really struggle against Lucario. Exactly. So I'm just gonna look at the bracket here. You can. All right. So starting off here, uh, looks like um, DGL actually has drawn first blood. Uh, Powell's gonna even that up really quickly. Nice fair strings. Ooh, into the up smash. Didn't quite catch its mark there. Okay, nice dash attack. And so right now, it looks like Powell's trying to, to set up his zone. Yeah. He's trying to get away from Lucario. Really all he's got against Lucario. Yeah. Oh, good back air. Yeah, great back air. He's gonna have to use the Hydrant as a wall, not let Lucario get in. Yeah. It's really rough because Pac-Man doesn't have a way to quickly kill. Right. So he's just gonna have to tack it on and get ever so cautious by the uh, end of those percents. Yeah, he's really he's gonna have to rely on, on hard reads or setups. E exactly. And, and and since DGL plays Pac-Man, it's gonna I think it's gonna be a little bit harder to get those setups yeah, on. Yeah, he's, he's likely gonna know, but um, right. you know, every time I see Pow, he's got a new bag of tricks That's up true. his sleeve. So That's true. let's see if he can uh, maybe surprise DGL with a little trick. We'll see, and that, wow, that down throw to up air almost, almost killed. Almost killed, yeah. That's crazy. I think if he lands the stun, he might be able to kill with an up smash. It is town and city. Yeah, true. And it's Lucario, I don't think Lucario's that heavy. No, I don't believe Lucario's too heavy. I think he's a medium weight. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So it looks to me like Pau's controlling the pace of this match right now. Definitely. He's, he's making Lucario, or making DGL come into it. Right. And DGL's a... A very aggressive player, and I think Pow is definitely taking advantage of this mm -hmm. by making him come in and fall into his traps. Ooh. Yeah, I think that Pow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I think that Pow really uh, does well against aggressive players. Uh, definitely, he makes you play your his game. Excuse me. Yeah. So now this is really, really scary. 140% Lucario. Yeah, dude. If Pac-Man dies, uh, it's it's a mountain to climb. Right. And you got to remember that. That like on top of the R, which is already crazy, you also get rage. So, exactly. Which this so is almost ridiculous. any aerial, like anything. Ooh. All right, but there it is. He's able to close stop. out before I even finish. Yeah, good stuff. And looking pretty good for Pal right now. He's doesn't really have to worry about war on rage for a while, and he's got that stock lead. Yeah, that was a 38% uh, little combo from string right there. Yeah, and he, he was going in right there. Definitely caught DGL off guard after slacking back the whole stock. Yeah. And I really like that option that Pau's been doing, a jab to up B, just to keep him safe, you know? Mm -hmm. It's, like it's extremely try to, safe. It's so hard yeah, to follow. Right, exactly. And he lands with such little lag. Mm -hmm. it, that's another uh, trick for aggressive players, because they'll want to punish it. And it has such little lag that he can just stay alive. Right. It's a bait. Let's see if he's going to go off. Misses it. Yeah, it looked like that backer should have hit, honestly. The ledge snap is pretty big in this game, mm -hmm. so you, you got to be precise about it. Yeah, for sure. Nice catch. Throws it away. The other thing is, um, I think DGL likely knows some of the Z-drop combos and setups. You're right. So he might, you know, if he catches a fruit, it might be to his advantage. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I can definitely see that. But honestly, being Lucario, it doesn't really take much to kill. Exactly. Uh, so if he can just get that stray hit in, I think he should be good. Yeah, really. Any, any uh, loose back air... Uh -huh. Side B. Mm -hmm. Tricky setup does not work. No. It's going to take a little bit more before Lucario enters kill percent unless he gets a stun. Oh, that'll do it. And that will do it. Unfortunate thing is even if you're shielding on top of the hydrant, once it's broken, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You'll go flying off and take the damage. Yeah, yeah, right. Because you'll be in the air for a few frames. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be standing on top of the hydrant very much. Yeah, yeah. Especially not when Lucario is using a smash attack. You know, it's just a couple hits and DGL can even this up at 130%. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> that was huge damage. DGL's gonna have to be careful with the key, though, because I think at this point the key will probably kill. I believe the kill, key will kill, especially on Town and City. With exactly. The, uh, and, oh, nice back air. Yeah, back air, I think, is Pac Man's strongest aerial. I so think he's probably so. just, ooh, All right. nice roll read. Good stuff. Yeah, I think when Pal, like, can't kill with the up smash, he just kind of goes for the most optimal bit of damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, and I think that was definitely the most optimal option right there. Yeah, but good job on Pau. He kept a cool head. You know, didn't get scared by Lucario or Aura. Mm -hmm. 
Good stuff to him. And so I think that in terms of like adjustments, uh, I think that maybe DGL wants to. Okay. Oh. All right. So he's switching uh, to. Uh, Demon watch. That's not something I saw. I would have predicted he would go to Falcon and maybe try to rush him down, but. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this man because, like, Game and Watch's bucket it can't it can't absorb anything of Pac-Man's, right? It cannot. I don't believe so. So I wonder what the logic is behind this counter pick. Um, I don't know this matchup at all, so I'm not too sure. I would assume Pac-Man takes it, but I don't know. I would assume so. I, I just can't see, uh, I can't see Game & Watch getting in, like, honestly. You know, I think, especially on that, um, that last game, probably would have been better to stick with Lucario, especially because when you're on a small stage, Lucario will die easier. Right. If Lucario was on Battlefield, it's, re it's even harder uh -huh. for Pac-Man. I, I agree. And, and, you know, like, it, it might be kind of counterintuitive because Lucario already kills super early. Mm. Oh, that's right. But but I think you're right, though. I mean, you don't want... I mean, you want to, if, if you land that kill move, you want it to kill. Yeah, exactly. You don't want him to be able to hold on for so long. Mm -hmm. All right, so, yeah, this great stage Covering control. Covering right, right off that platform. Yeah. He does have the bell, though. Yeah, let's see what he does with this. Nothing. Tries to, tries to read him falling off the platform. DGL's kind of gaining stage control here, but he is. Pal's getting to charge, and he's getting everything ready. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pal, Pal just, he knows what he wants to do, and he's doing it. And up, oh. Oh, that would have killed. Game & Watch is extremely light, and um, what's the word? He's a fe What's it called when you're not a fast fella? He's just a uh, featherweight or whatever. Whatever, he's light. That would have killed. Yeah, that definitely would have killed. Even on Battlefield. Definitely, yeah. And I'm not really sure why he popped out of that. Do you know? Sometimes the hitbox just doesn't line up right. I'm not sure. I've seen it. I've seen it before with uh, Pac-Man. Uh -huh. It's not intentional. It's no. something else that happens. Yeah. And that up smash might have actually killed from the top platform. Yeah, Game Watch has a really good up smash. Not as good as Mario's, but it's also really safe and yeah, it covers him well. Huh, jab. Yeah, interesting. I guess he thought he couldn't really get anything else off of that. Yeah, the startup on his Pac-Man smashes is really long, uh -huh. so it's likely he would have flown away. Yeah, I think so. And now Pal has all the stage control. And oh, he gets. All right, he's not coming back from that. There's no. No, way. I think he's gonna make it. I don't think so, man. No, nope, yeah, almost, correct. almost. Wrong. Mm. It was very close, though. Yeah. That's one of the rough parts. If you miss a tech and you accidentally air dodge after, you've kind of screwed yourself even more. Because... Unless you're villager, right? <laughs> exactly. Pac-Man has a great recovery, but you'd have to be Villager to make it from that distance. Yeah. Maybe Rub. Maybe. And okay, DGL's got the little Z-drops. See if he's going to actually do anything with that. Ooh, the Hydrant covered uh, Pal from getting hit in Game & Watch's combo setup. Pal uses the Hydrant a lot just to cover himself. Definitely. It's like another player almost that's going to be watching us back. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, that's unfortunate, man. It's a 2-0 victory for Pal. All right. Good try. Pac-Man Game & Watch. Never thought I'd see that matchup. I 